Welcome, I'm Robert Estrin here at livingpianos.com with another video. Today's subject is, what are in-home concerts? You know, I had the wonderful experience a few years ago of being asked to perform in a concert series, Anessa Krugel, Classical Music Encounters of Orange County. Some spectacular artists are joined uh, with audiences and chamber music, and it's a great series, and yes, it's an in-home concert series that you can check out on the link uh, on the website. And that was an inspiration to me. And you know, really, I grew up with this because my father, Morton Estrin, uh, was my teacher and he has a studio on Long Island. Incidentally, he still teaches a great concert pianist. If any of you are in the New York metropolitan area, you should look up mortonestrin.com also. I want to mention that because we had concerts in our home. My father had a big addition on the house with his studio where he taught and also had concerts. Now, why is this significant? First of all, there's a historical component to this. Did you know that the concert hall is a relatively recent invention? That's right. Concert halls only came about in the mid to late 19th century because the piano developed to the point where it had enough volume and the symphony orchestra was a, just a very, very small group of musicians back in Mozart and Haydn's time. It was less than half the size of a modern symphony orchestra. More than that, the instruments of the orchestra were all quieter as well. The wooden flutes didn't project nearly as much as a metal flute, the silver flutes. French horns had no valves, so for half the notes, the players have to stop the horn, muting the sound also. So all the instruments got louder, orchestrations got bigger, the keyboard developed into the grand piano that we know and love today. Now, what is so special about in-home concerts is the energy and the intimacy. I can't tell you the experience for me growing up, I got to hear my father all the time, up close and personal. And the energy you hear when you're in the same room with a concert pianist can't be described if you've never experienced it yourself. In fact, when I would go to my father's concerts at Carnegie Hall, Lincoln Center, and other concert halls, it was always like, whoa, you had to be so quiet and still just to hear it compared to the energy you feel in an in-home concert. So look up in your region and see if there are concerts in people's homes. You might be surprised to find a vibrant musical community of concert goers in people's homes with wonderful artists. Now, what's in it for the artists, you might wonder? Well, you know, when preparing a new program, it's really great to try out material in a less structured, more informal setting where you can talk to the audience and get acquainted and be able to try things out to pace yourself and get an energy level. So the first time you go on the concert stage with, with big audiences in a formal setting with possible reviewers and all the rest, you're prepared, you've practiced your performance, which is very important. So it is actually mutually beneficial. So for you artists out there, I strongly encourage you to get involved in in-home concerts as a way to preview your recitals, maybe tweak the programming and such. Thanks for joining me, Robert Estrin at livingpianos.com, and I'll see you next week with another video. Thank you again.